What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and in today's video we're taking a look at Android Lollipop's new lock screen. So without any more further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. <laughs> So with the new release of Android 5.0 Lollipop, there has been a complete redesign in new material design. So that has extended within the whole Android Lollipop firmware, but first major thing is the notification center. Here you have multiple toggles for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular data, airplane mode, and portrait mode that we didn't really have easy access to in the past Android KitKat. But now that we have the easy portrait toggles and all those information toggles that we have, such as the flashlight without having to download a flashlight application, and if you tap on the cellular data, it also shows you how much data you have used out of your maximum data capacity and your carrier and you have your auto rotation portrait screen uh, as well as a flashlight which uh, is a totally new to Android 5.0 uh, instead you'd have to download actual flashlight application which was a pain in the butt because uh, it only worked with Wi-Fi so that was really how it worked you also have your uh, cast screen that is now built into Android 5.0 so you no longer have to have the Chromecast application in order there up top here it shows you your time along with your date and your um, uh, month and, and day of the date. You also have your battery percentage there along with the little battery icon. Uh, you also have a settings icon that if you actually tap it brings up the actual settings application uh, along with your little profile and user switcher which allows you to switch your usernames which becomes very in handy when you have different people on your phone. So that has been it for today guys with Android 5.0 Lollipop's new lock screen. If you guys enjoyed more of this make sure to subscribe and leave a like and thumbs up. Bye guys, until next time, see you in my next one. Peace.